Welcome to A Week in Trucks, in association with DAF Trucks. I'm Emma Schoen, and this is 90 Seconds of News. <clears throat> Rumours that Birds Transport and Logistics has closed down have been dispelled by the firm's MD. A source told A Week in Trucks that loss-making birds closed its doors on the 9th of December. Some of the work was said to have been absorbed by sister company Montgomery Transport, while the company's pallet truck membership has ended, with Sheldon Clayton taking on some of its Birmingham postcode. However, Bird's MD Patrice Schneider said that Bird's Transport was not shutting, but just reorganising. This, he said, will see it move its operational centre from Albury to Leicester in an apparent tie-up with Widdersons under a newly created holding company, Bird's Transport Leicester. <coughs> Hauliers have reacted angrily to calls for rules to be changed at junctions, after the AA suggested drivers should have to give way to cyclists and pedestrians before turning. The proposal was backed by former Olympian Chris Boardman. The rule should change, they said, because the current highway code isn't clear enough. Jacqueline O'Donovan, MD of O'Donovan Waste Disposal, said that placing the responsibility for safety solely on the driver contradicts the message of collaboration that the industry is trying to promote. She added that road safety will only work when all road users work on it together. A new manufacturer entered the American truck market earlier this month. The Nikola One electric truck was launched in Salt Lake City by its creator, Nikola. The truck is powered by a hydrogen fuel cell supported by lithium-ion batteries and has a range of 800 to 1200 miles. The company said it expects to settle on a location for production facility in the first half of next year, but that it had already received more than $3 billion worth of reservations. Nikola CEO Trevor Milton also revealed plans to build a network of hydrogen refueling stations across the US and Canada and hailed the new vehicle as the most advanced tractor unit ever built. That was 90 seconds of news. Thanks for watching.